I am Anil Kumar. We are practicing how to solve quadratic equations. We have about 10-15 videos on this topic. Here the example is solve x squared plus 9x over 2 minus 5 over 2 equals to 0. So let me rewrite the equation. The equation is x squared plus 9x over 2 minus 5 over 2 equal to 0. So here you see that there is 2 in the denominator. And uh, if you want to get rid of it, we need to multiply each term by 2. In other words, we also see that the lowest common denominator is 2. So we'll times each term by 2 because 2 is the lowest common denominator. So what we'll do here is that we'll multiply each term by 2, right? So each term we are multiplying by 2. That is the next step. So when we do that, we get 2x squared plus this 2 and 2 cancels, we get 9x minus this 2 and 2 cancels, we get 5 equal to 2 times 0. I should write here also times 2. 2 times 0 is 0. So we get a quadratic equation without fraction part. Now it becomes kind of simpler, right? Now we can factor this. So let's factor using product and sum. So, we will solve by factoring. So, we are looking for product which should be 2 times minus 5. So, product should be minus 10 and sum should be 9. The two numbers could be 10 and minus 1, right? When you add them, you get plus 9. When you multiply them, you get minus 10, correct? So, we will split 9x into this combination, writing this as 2x squared plus 10x minus x minus 5 equal to 0. Now combining the first two and taking common factor which is 2x, we get x plus 5. Here we can take minus x plus 5 equal to 0. Now x plus 5 is a common factor, so we'll write x plus 5. We are left with 2x from the first term minus 1 from the second term. So we have two possible solutions, correct? So whenever you have factored form, you can find the solutions by equating each factor to zero, right? So one solution will be when x plus five equals to zero, the other one when two x minus one equal to zero. That gives you x equals to minus five, and this gives you two x equals to one or x equals to one over two, right? So those become the solution for the given equation. So we can write down our answer as x equal to minus 5 and half. So these are the two solutions for the given equation. You can always substitute these values and check if they are valid solutions for the given quadratic equation. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope these steps help you to understand how to solve quadratic equations where fractions are involved. Thank you and all the best.